This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It is a 2004 Ford F550 regular cab, dual rear wheel, obviously a utility bed. It's a V10, uh, gas V10. Uh, it is four wheel drive. This truck only has 63,444 miles. It was a theft recovery purchased directly from an insurance company in Martinez, California, which is basically the San Francisco area. Um, it is on a th uh, salvage title due to theft, not collision. Please watch the little three-minute animated video in our ads. I'll tell you why and how. Basically, the insurance company's attorneys don't want to get sued after they sell it to us and we sell it to you. If they sold it on a clear title, we sold you on a clear title, and you got killed in it or hurt somehow, it may be able to come back to them. So their way of uh, inoculating themselves against any future issues with this truck is to give us a salvage title. Then they uh, imply no warranty at all because it's on a salvage title, and that's that. Um, this truck used to be a boom or a crane truck, and they stole the crane, okay? Um, other than that, I'm going to walk around and show you what's going on here. When we get them here, we do an inspection. This is what they look like. Not much going on in this thing. Uh, it was really well taken care of. We did an air filter, front brake pads. We had to replace the driver door lock cylinder and the ignition, which is obviously broken when it was stolen. And we had to put a plate in, in the bed, a steel plate, over the hydraulic lines. Well, we left the hydraulic lines there for somebody who may want to put uh, equipment back in, uh, a crane or a boom or something. Obviously locking hubs. Um, these are the tires that came on it. Very high rubber uh, tires. This is a heck of a truck. Has a little ding in the front bumper. Here's your sticker for what it used to have, whatever it had. There will be pictures uh, my brother will take of it before it uh, left California, and you'll be able to see it. Uh, it's basically the same as this. There's no real difference at all. The little thing right here. Obviously, no one's buying this for the cosmetics, but the second I don't show something is the second I'll never hear the end of it so over there is uh, Carfax and Kelly and stuff that I'll show you in a second the seats look great obviously low miles yeah. your rear tires Very high tread on these tires. I don't think you need to worry about tires for a while. I'm not really sure what these are for. Probably chocks. Oh, yeah. Got a little step here. That plate in the bed right there, we just put that on. That covers, uh, that steel plate covers uh, hydraulic lines. We were going to weld it down and we thought, you know what? Somebody might want those and it might matter. We left a little uh, cradle there for it also for whatever arm for the crane or whatever was on there. Obviously that stuff can come off or it can get welded down, whatever you want to do. But once we take it off, it's gone. And the guy who gets it next might actually want it. This is a really nice truck. Kind of a typical Northern California. From about LA up there, they're usually pretty dang clean because they don't really have any off-road going on. So, kind of pretty much look like this. You get them from El Paso and from uh, Tucson, Phoenix. They're a little bit rougher usually. Anyway, I'm gonna fire this thing up. Sixty-three thousand four hundred and forty-eight miles. There you go. All right, I'll look under the hood in a second, but let's start here. Carfax, salvage title, theft is the reason. All right, let's see. It was actually in Arizona for a little while in its youth in Glendale. Then it made it to California. It was stolen on January, on December 1st of 15, recovered 
the next day, apparently. And that's what it says. So, let's see. The insurance company was Trumbull Insurance. 2 16 56,000 miles. And then, we have this title. Wheel Kinetics. This will be in the ad. You can click on it and look at it yourself with the miles. And that's that. All right. Let's um, look underneath the hood. We'll be looking for Ford stamps on both sides, on both fenders and on both sides of the core support. Very important to see those. Um, although on a work truck, it's not unusual to not, but let's look anyway. There's a stamp there. That's a Ford stamp there. Ford stamp right there. Stickers where they belong. Should be another one right there. And there it is. Right between my finger and thumb right there. And right there. So all the uh, fenders and core support are original. Which means they uh, didn't wreck it. When they wreck them, they change uh, body parts. They don't go with Ford because they're much more expensive to uh, replace with Ford parts. So nobody does that. All right. Just the seat up a little bit. Let's see. Overdrive off and on. Radio. Radio works fine. Obviously, all these lights and stuff, we left this stuff too. That was probably part of the crane deal. Um, it was part of the crane deal. Uh, additional power, etc. Um, so we just left it there in case somebody wants it. The air is blowing ice cold. And it works on all the settings. It's a little warm, so I'm going to leave it on. All right. I'm going to put it in neutral. I'm going to put it in four-wheel drive. There's four low. That's definitely four low. I forgot to put a seatbelt on. Reverse. I hear the buzzer going off when we're in reverse. Put it in neutral. I'm going to put a seatbelt on before it starts beeping at me again. All right, now we're in neutral. We're gonna go back, we're gonna go to four high. That's four high. Drive. And reverse. And the buzzer's on for reverse. All right, now we're gonna go to neutral. We're gonna go two wheel high. Now we're in two. Let's go for ride. All right, if you come here to drive it home to Tucson, which you're welcome to do, you are gonna pay uh, well, first of all, to get in plates and insurance, we have to take it to the police and get what's called level three inspection. You can't get plates or insurance on a salvage title. So we get a level three inspection and then uh, uh, we take the level three and the salvage title that we currently have and we get what's called a restored salvage title. Then we can issue you plates and then you can get insurance. So obviously that's mandatory if you're going to drive it home. Um, ooh, what was I going to say? Uh, so. That's two hundred dollars for us to do it for you. And by the way, this is five fifty suspension, and we're on a Bolivian road right here. Uh, our eight point one percent taxes create roads that, I mean, honestly, you wouldn't even see this bad a road in Bolivia. It's ridiculous. Um, anyway, we're on a smooth road now, so now my teeth can stop rattling. Uh, Anyway, so it's $200 to restore the title, $250 dock fee, and taxes. Taxes are 2% city sales tax in Tucson, plus whatever your state tax rate is. So if you're going to come here, all you have to do is add 2% to your state, state sales tax, and then add $250 dock fee and 200 to restore the title. If you pay by wire and ship, all you're going to pay is the agreed upon price, and that's it. Um, unless you want us to have it restored, the title restored before it ships out, which I highly recommend unless you're sure you can get it done yourself. Um, in your state with the bill of sale uh, that we'll provide online for you uh, and the title, the Arizona salvage title and the truck itself. That's what we'll give you. So if you decline to have us restore it, please make sure you can get it done with that stuff. Um, deposit. Deposit is $500. Once we receive your deposit, we'll put your name in a banner over the truck at wheelconnects.com and you'll know it's yours. Until then, it's for sale. Okay. So please make sure you get that, uh, that deposit in. Uh, this is a very clean, low-mile V10 4x4 utility truck. Extremely rare. We've actually had people request this truck before. I would be pretty surprised if it wasn't gone really fast. 
So if you're going to buy it, make sure you get that uh, deposit in. If you don't get the deposit in, uh, someone could beat you to it. Last part of my speech is the uh, warranty speech. It's out of warranty by years and miles. Uh, if something breaks, go get it fixed. We're not fixing anything. We're not writing checks. Nothing. Um, we take a lot of risk buying these. Uh, we give you as much information as we can. But if we told you that they're not going to break, we'd be liars. Eventually, this thing will break. And it could break the day you get it, or it could break, you know, 10 years from now. If you take care of it, I would bet on 10 years from now. But eventually, even with great care, it will break. Okay? So please be realistic. All right? Know what you're buying. If you need a brand new vehicle uh, because you don't want risk, then you gotta go, you gotta buy brand new and get the warranty. And for a couple years, you'll have warranty. And after that, you'll owe 20 or 30 grand and you'll be out of warranty. Okay? That's what you gotta think about. Uh, just know we're not writing checks for things that are broken. We don't do that. We give you tons of information, give you this video, lots of pictures. Um, anyway, select wisely. If you don't, if you feel funny, you don't like something, then don't buy it. And please, if you're like that, don't buy anything from us. All right? We need people who uh, understand what they're buying and are able to accept some risk. Okay? Because there is some. All right? Anyway, thank you for your time.